tree oil now. Tea tree oil. Can you bring me the tea tree oil, Afro? Tea tree. Oily skin. And I have oily, so it, it is over oily. I sweat a lot. You know what I'm saying? So my body always getting rid of toxins. So when I'm stressed, this is basically a stress response from my body to let me know that I'm, you know what I'm saying. So that's why I've been chilling. A couple more days, you're going to see it's going to go away. So. He said tea, black seed oil. Yeah, some people get some people get different things for stress responses. You know what I'm saying? Why can one dream of you? When was the last time I went to the doctor? I don't need to go to the doctor. You do. I know what the doctor knows. You don't. Because you're busy not studying. You're in the information age, you need to go to the doctor because you don't know what the doctor knows. But I know what the doctor knows. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Always lying. You go to the doctor because you're uneducated. The doctor has taken the time to educate himself about the human body when you haven't. If you educate yourself about your own condition, you don't need to go to the, con the doctor. That's just lazy shit. People go to the doctor because they haven't educated themselves on what they, about their body. If you knew who the hell, what, what was going on with you, you wouldn't need to go to the doctor. Thankful. Uneducated people about what's going on with themselves, just uneducated. So the doctor has, uh, um, this is the tea tree oil right here. Yeah, I came up with this cure. I just researched it. I researched it online. Because that's what your doctors do. They research everything. Your doctors do what you don't do. You pay your doctor to do what you don't do. Your doctor goes and researches and learn about things that you're not paying attention to. But now you can do that yourself. This is the age of Aquarius. It's do for self. Learn about your own condition. Then heal it naturally. Find the herbs find the natural remedies, or they're going to give you some synthetic herb. All they do is give you a synthetic form of some herb. That's all they do to mass produce it. Like, I don't even need better to get it together. All doctors do is do research that you haven't done. That's it. And, and then what they do is so many people have the same thing, so they know what to, they know what to give you because of the records over and over, like, okay. But they, but then again, you could just do your own research online about your own condition and then heal yourself and give yourself the herbs that heal it. It's all online. Like, I don't know why y'all be playing the internet off like it, like it ain't, like it ain't knowledge. Like, it's just crazy. And another thing, it's funny to me, y'all people, y'all always making fun of Google. Like, oh, he's a Google. Yo, Google got hella knowledge, hella wisdom, like a lot of shit, like so much shit you could learn. And you can research about online. Shit is crazy. So much knowledge online. So much that you could literally learn. Shit. Because all Google is is a collective mind of people sending out knowledge. And even doctors themselves write stuff online and put it online. Natural remedies. Fucking all kind of shit. Like herbs. All kind of shit. Like, And you go to the doctor because you're silly as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know how to heal your condition naturally. There's always a natural way to heal your condition. Even the medicines that they give you are synthetic forms of natural herbs. Point blank period. I don't care if, if you got, if you, was, if you tested positive for HIV, there's a natural herb to get you um, to a point where you're not even positive for HIV. If you, if you tested positive for herpes, there's a natural herb that will bring your, your outbreaks all the way down and you won't have any outbreaks. It's a certain lifestyle you can live that you, you can heal your own self. But you go to the doctor, the doctor going to give you a synthetic form of some herb that they mass produce so they can get it to everybody quick. 
because of capitalism. Well, Eliana's birth happened. That was a, that was a uh, that's hardware. That's technical. You feel me? Her shit. We didn't know what was going on with her. You see what I'm saying? We didn't know what was going on with her. Her bladder was full. The baby was pushing his head on her bladder, and her bladder could have erupted. So that's right. That's the stuff that you do need to go to the doctor for, or or medical assistance for. That's different. If you break your fucking leg or something like that, you know what I'm saying? You want to go to the doctor? That's different. I'm talking about. Shit that y'all got going on with a doctor subscribing you medicine. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nigga. Go research your own shit and get it done. Now, if it's something mechanical that's going on with your body, like you break your fucking leg, go to the hospital. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, you broke your leg. Yeah, fix that shit. Like, no, nah, my nigga. If you do something mechanical, like, or, you know what I mean, hurt yourself or something like that, you got to go find out what's going on. And it's one thing to go to the doctor to find out what's going on. It's another thing to fucking... Take the medicine. You can go to the doctor just to find out what the fuck going on with you. And then you don't have to take that medicine. You know what I'm saying? The doctor's a human like everybody else. He's just done more research in certain areas. If you find yourself in a position where you can't find out what's going on with you, it's an emergency situation, then you got to go to the emergency room. You have to go to the emergency room. What the fuck? Don't be stupid. You know what I mean? Point blank period. But ain't nothing wrong with her um, health. I know that. Ain't nothing wrong with her health. You see? So, that's the difference. That's why she snapped back. Ain't nothing wrong with my baby's health. That's why the baby's not in the hospital. The baby's healthy. You see what I'm saying? So, outside of that, you know what I'm saying? It's the it's the age of it's the age of information, man. Like you gotta you gotta know that this shit is online already, man. You can heal yourself. It's already online now. So you could you could keep fucking with the doctor if you want. <laughs> he said, "I work. I worked in the medical field, and I promise you, a lot of doctors leave the room and go look up your symptoms and then subscribe you." Meaning the doctor don't, they don't know. That's facts. I mean, everything's on the internet and people try to, my roommate has HIV, Parkinson's, hepatitis. He won't stop eating meat. That nigga's stupid. He deserved what he getting. She said, she said, yeah. She said she go, she said she went to, um, she, she worked at, in a doctor field and they leave the room and go Google your symptoms and they subscribe you medicine. I heard that shit. They human just like you, bruh. I'll be right back. You know what I mean? I got a friend that's a doctor that do the same shit. Straight like that. Come on, baby. Come along with me. Yeah, Eliana wasn't sick. We wasn't in the hospital because Eliana was sick. We was in the hospital because the baby was adjacent on her on her bladder. And she the baby's head could have erupted her bladder and she could have busted her bladder and that would have been crazy. Feel what I'm saying? So it was an emergency. She said put some turmeric in. I wouldn't touch honey. I'm just against that. I know how to deal with this. Y'all keep watching me. This is gonna be gone in like a couple days. You look handsome. Give me a kiss. Her. She doesn't have herpes. That's the funny thing. 
I don't know who told you she has herpes. Do you think the salt is irritating your skin more? Nah. Nah, I told you what was going on in my skin. It'll be gone in a couple of days, and then y'all be like, oh. We figured her out, didn't we? Yeah. She <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna be able to hear you say stop, so they, they're already blocked, so. The, the hospital could be an extension of nature if they didn't capitalize off, like, do stuff for money. They was helping everybody. Then it could be something that's beautiful, but they're not, they're not doing that. So. The baby shots. No, nah, man. <laughs> Just, there ain't gonna be no baby shots. I'm 6'2". Oh, yeah, I could use the breast milk because she got a lot of it. Exactly, everybody has herpes and no one knows that. But it's okay. People are very uneducated about disease and how the body works. I know, 6'2 is tall. Yeah, what are you? 5'1. We'll give myself 5'2 just because, hmm. but. Bring my baby here. Five, 